Hey guys, what's up? Newcomb Guitar Lessons here, back with another beginner guitar lesson just for you. Uh, this one's covering just basic beginner guitar chords that every guitar should know, and this will help you with any song you learn uh, that is a basic beginner song. So, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please let me know any suggestions that would help you learn uh, faster, better, stronger, Kanye West. Um, but just kidding but you know let me know because I make these videos for you guys and I want you to enjoy them and learn something from them but without further ado let's hop into it alright guys maybe the easiest guitar chord to learn first is E minor um, you use two fingers your middle finger and your ring finger and you place them on the second fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string just like it's shown in the uh, picture right there. So put your middle finger on the second fret of the A, and then right behind it, you put your ring finger on the second fret of the D, okay? And so you're not gonna strum this top string. That'll throw the chord off and it'll sound bad. Um, so you strum down from here. That's an E minor chord. Um, so if these chords aren't coming out clearly, the best way to fix that is to play each note individually, right, of the entire set of strings, right? So on this one, you only have two fingers down, right? So put your chord shape down and pick this, the first string of the chord, not the first string on the guitar, right? So, all right, that one sounds good, so no worries there worries there. Then the last three. So no worries there. So if you're a beginner, you might have your index finger or your uh, ring finger muting this G string right here. And that'll makes a weird sound. Uh, it's not clear. So that technique will help you get to where that rings out clear, right? So that's the whole purpose of that. So that's an E minor chord. Um, so the cool thing about this is the E major chord is very easy to learn once you've learned this, right? So remember, middle finger, second fret of A, ring finger, second fret of D, but then for the major, you just put your index finger on the first fret of the G string right here. Right, so you, you have that. So start with these two, add the index finger on the first fret of G, right? And then you strum the same strings. And notice how that's a different sound. Um, still an E, but it's an E major instead of E minor. Um, so there's two chords in one. All right guys, so second easiest chord in my book, only because it takes one extra finger than the E minor is the A major chord. Uh, people have different books, people have different perspectives. So if you watch another YouTube video, they're not right or wrong, I'm not right or wrong, it's just perspective. So for this chord, very easy because you place your index finger on the second fret of the D string, right here. Then literally the next two strings, you also place your middle and ring finger on the second fret. All right, so look at the picture right here, and then I'll show you where your fingers need to go. But uh, so second fret of the D string, which we just talked about is index. Second fret of the G string is middle finger. Second fret of the B string is ring finger, right? So three in a row and you strum all of the strings except for this top E. And that's an A major. So remember what I told you about uh, playing each string to see if it comes out clearly, and that'll help you play that. So, like the E minor, there is a very simple A minor. Um, so look at the picture here, and that will show you that your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, 
your ring finger on the second fret of the G string than your index finger on the first fret of the B string. So same shape as the E minor, but all your fingers go one string down, right? So A minor, you strum everything but the top E. So right there you know four chords. That's it, four chords right there. And then now we'll get into some different chords, but um, those I think are the two easiest chords to learn starting off. All right guys, G major chord. So look at this picture right here. That'll show you um, the notes you need to play. But this is probably the most common chord in any song. Almost every song has a G chord in it. Almost every song has a C chord in it. Almost every song has a D chord in it. Not always true, but very popular in pop music, very popular in most forms of music, right? So middle finger on the third fret of the low E then index finger on the second fret of the A, then your ring finger on the third fret of the B, then your index finger on the high E, right? So look at the picture again, but you play all of the strings on this chord. That's a G major chord. All right guys, next crucial chord is a C major. Um, so look at this picture here and you put your ring finger on the third fret of the A, your middle finger on the second fret of the D, then you skip a string and you put your first finger, your index finger on the first fret of the B, which is the second to last string down, all right? And you strum everything but this low E. C major. All right, so last chord in my beginner guitarist chord lesson is a D major. Um, so you only use these bottom three strings for it, right? And you use your index finger on the second fret of the G string. Then you use your ring finger on the third fret of the B. Then you use your middle finger on the second fret of the high E. All right, and you only strum on this one um, the bottom four strings, right? So from you don't strum these two right here. So you strum down from here. That's a D major. All right, guys. So learning those chords is going to help you so much. Literally the majority of songs use those chords um, and you can always simplify down more complicated songs into to those chords um, and a lot of my videos will show that so look at my beginner guitar lessons playlist and it'll show you songs with pretty much all of those chords in it um, keep practicing them because switching between the chords is super important for timing so just learning them slowly and then keep learning how to switch between them while learning songs and that'll help you speed along your progression. It'll be slow at first, but just pick up the guitar maybe 10 minutes a day and you'll be there in a month, I guarantee it. Um, so like always, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what I can improve on and I'll see you next time.